Welcome to the Digital Earth Africa web-based interface. Digital Earth Africa map is an easy way to explore, visualize, analyze spatial data on the African continent. Here you can search for places, explore a catalog of datasets, compare different datasets side by side, observe how the landscape changes over time, create and even share interactive stories. Among other datasets and services you can access include the continental scale water observations from space, which provides information on the number of locations water was detected, and you can use to access Sentinel-2 for the whole of Africa and Landsat 5, 7, 8, or 5 countries. The URL for the Digital Art Africa map is maps.digitalartafrica. Africa. This is the interface for the web application. Digital Earth Africa map interface has two sections. On the left section, we have the data workbench. On the right section, we have the map interface. You're able to navigate the data using the floating buttons on the right. Uh, with the zoom button, we have the center map at your current location. You can to measurements and we have the slider button. The slider button helps identify changes over time by comparing the two datasets from the workbench. For more information on how to use the map, please refer to our tutorial. From the data workbench to the left section, you can add datasets available on the Digital Earth Africa map platform. Click on the add data and a dialog will pop up. On the left side, you'll see a different datasets, different categories. These are classified for different categories for easy identification. Here we have satellite imagery, surface water, vegetation, and elevation. More categories will be added. For this video, we are going to work with two different products that are available on the platform. We'll be able to work with Sentinel-2 product and the water observation product for two different years. Digital Earth Africa provides Sentinel-2 level 2A surface reflectance data from the European Commission Copernicus program. Sentinel-2 is an Earth observation mission that provides systematically acquired optical imagery at 10 meters spatial resolution. The mission is based on a constellation of two identical satellites in the orbits, 100 degrees apart for optimum coverage and delivery. Together, they cover all the Earth land surface, large islands, inland and coastal waters every three to five days. Each of the Sentinel-2 carries a wide swath high resolution multispectral imagery. We have 13 spectral bands. The products have a temporal coverage from 2017 to date and is updated as new images are acquired. Images in the different spectrum are provided at special resolutions of 10, 20, and 60 meters, respectively. We will use Sentinel for present day. Starting with Sentinel 2 data is up to date and at the 2010 meters special resolution. Click on the satellite imagery and you'll see the daily surface reflectance. And here you'll be able to say, select Sentinel 2 and later add this to the map. The data back workbench, you will see the data has been added. Uh, for the ease exercise, we, we want to navigate to Niami in Ija, where they experienced flooding during the month of September. Using the SAT at the top of the add data, please type Niami. And you will see uh, various options and you select Yami Niger. Once we are in Yami, on the layer, you can see the time selector, which is here. For the purpose of this exercise, we choose the date of 6th August of 2020. And you can see the image captured for Niami. We have different style, styles for this layer. As you can see in this drop-down, 
we have the RGB, we have the NDVI, we have the NWI. You can choose to click on them and see what happens in the different changes over time. On this particular layer, you'll see the split button here, uh, which we need to click so that we can create two layers uh, with two different dates for comparison for this particular exercise. For this particular exercise, we choose to make a comparison between two dates, uh, 6 August and the date of the 5th of September. So on the right, on the left, I have the 6th of August. On the right side, I'll, I'm looking for the 5th of September, 2020. And there it goes. And for this particular exercise, I'll change the style for the second date so that you can see the comparison uh, between the two data sets the one on the left on the august the september one you can see where pretty much air flooding has been experienced the patterns here on the right help us to share this story with different colleagues and uh, persons uh, you can click on the story and you can also choose to click on the map and share it and also share it as a PDF and or even share a link. Then the next product will add the water observations from space. Uh, this provides uh, an annual summary of the statistical water observations from space product, uh, where we can see the ratio of the weight to clear as a percentage for every year. Here we'll go to the click add data and we choose uh, surface water and we choose water observations from space beta and we click on the annual summaries and we add this to the map for the purposes of still the same exercise uh, we want to compare this for two dates uh, still for Niami and comparison from the year 2014 and another one on the 2018 and this particular exercise i'll be able to create a split of the same so that i have on the left side the imagery of 2014 then on the second one on the right i'll have the comparison of 2018 So here you'll see two products on the left, 2014, and one on the right, uh, 2018. So the patterns still on this right help us to share the story with different people. We can click to create a story map and also you can choose to share as a link and share with everyone and colleagues. Thank you very much for joining us for this.